Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays RimWorld. We had a very good first episode. Uh, Magnus, Owen, Aldra, and Boondy, who apparently I didn't notice it before, is wearing like a hell of a, he a hair helmet. Um, spoils in one day. Let's make sure we pick that up. I thought we hunted that monkey, which meant he should have picked it up by himself. But we're going to make Owen a... Uh, some tribal wear here, so he's not walking around completely nude. We do have a freezer. I thought I told him we'd deconstruct this door, but I guess we didn't. Uh, I'm going to have him deconstruct this door, and I'm going to replace it with a auto steel door, and then I'm going to deconstruct the other one. I'm going to replace it with an auto steel door. I should probably put a floor in there, too. Let's actually do that now. Let's see. Floor. And just concrete. Just to pave it. Boom. Just pave that. Heat wave. That's not good. That probably means we're going to need another cooler already. Let's just pop a cooler in like right there. It'll be it'll already be connected to the grid. Um, the power will I think one solar generator should be enough for this this instant instance we have here. We just have a few rooms. Two, two AC units. Not a big deal. Owen's almost back to health. And a little bit of pain still. I know you're unhappily nude, but why don't you go put on some poor cassowary tribal wear? There you go, bud. Yeah, you look terrible. That's just, uh... There's a wooden door there still. Concrete gets laid down real quick, like. They seem to move slower across the, uh... Like the dirt than they did before. Aldra, what is your issue? You're a night owl, right? You're the night owl? Very hot psychic drone night owl in the daytime. Awful barrack. Awful barrack. What's wrong with it? You know what we should do is we should start restricting people. So, um, every, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up everybody and then I'm going to set up Aldra separately. So we'll do Magnus. So they'll, they'll wake up. They'll have two hours of free time. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this in and we're going to put an hour of joy in the middle of the day. And then what I'm going to do is copy and paste, paste. Uh, Aldra, on the other hand, let's clear that out. He is going to need to sleep during the day. So he's going to go to bed at 8 o'clock in the morning. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8, eight hours of sleep. Here, let's do it. Let's, let, let's push that back. And then he's going to have two hours of anything. And then he's going to work. Uh, two hours at the end of the day with an hour of joy at midnight. There we go. And that should prevent Aldra from going bat crap crazy. 100 and th yeah, definitely a good idea. 113 fucking degrees in there. A bit of the coolers bare the AC units Barely keeping up. I could call it a cooler. That works. Barely keeping up with this. Barely. And this room should be fine. Yeah. Much better, much better, much better. He still hates his barrack, which I understand. And Aldra should be a little bit better because he's, um, he's gonna work during the night time when it's not as hot out. It's still hot outside, but... I think the worst series of events I've ever had to, I've ever successfully dealt with, because, you know, there's been an, an innumerable, ev innumerable events that have caused the, uh, like, colony collapse disorder. But there was one where I had, it was a nuclear winter. Well, it was, a, there was a cold, I think it was a cold snap that killed all, like, all my plants, uh, right before harvest season. And then there was a nuclear winter and fo toxic fallout. 
all at the same, you know, all, you know, rapid fire one after another. And it was, it was brutal because of the, the cold snap that killed most of the food. Uh, we went into it with much lower food reserves and those things kind of staggered themselves apart from each other. So it wasn't like they all ended anywhere near each other. It was all, you know, one would end and then the others would go on for a while. Then, you know, one would end and I think the nuclear winter lasted for a very long time. Uh, but we ran out of food. Uh, the f toxic fallout killed all the animals. I brought in all their bodies as they f as they died from radiation poisoning. Brought them, brought all their their bodies uh, in. You know, had people go out in like relays. One person would go out for a while, then another person would go out for a while. Oh wow, that was still sitting out there. And grab all the corpses. We ate all those. Uh, no trade caravans would come. No, nobody showed up during uh, the the thing. Um, a couple colonists died uh, because we were still getting raided. We buried them and we buried the raiders. And then when all the food ran out, we started eating the raiders as they came. And then when they ran out, we ate the colonists that fell because it was a big colony. It was like thirteen people, so uh, like one or two people. I think two people died from uh, the raiders, so we ate them too. And then when they were gone, the only thing that was left to do, the only food left on the map, was to dig up the graves of the people who had died the previous year during the cold snap. You know, all the raiders that had come through, and we had buried them, and then the, gr the ground had frozen, and then there was a nuclear winter, so the ground had stayed frozen. So the bodies were very, very old. But frozen, we we opened up the graves and we ate the old corpses. It was the most dire, the most dire situation I I, I think I've ever found myself in in this game. Uh, I'm actually going to wall this off, like right about there, and then I'm going to delete this. Uh, we're going to go orders and oh, zones, and then clear zone. So they bring the stuff in, inside. Although we are running out of room. No joy source, I know that. Just so that stuff doesn't um, decompose, deteriorate. Where it means we're gonna need some some doorways. I'm gonna put one there, one there, one on each side, so it's easy to access. This is a very stupid looking main structure, but you know we just gotta get everything set up and 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 going, and then we can think about making it pretty. The next thing we're going to need is uh, bedrooms, and I think right here is a good spot to put some bedrooms. Probably take this out. Oh, and we need to turn this into a proper barrack, which means flooring. I mean, concrete's neutral, right? Yeah, there's no issue there. Or, you know, we go wood, wood, wood flooring in. That's Wood flooring is like plus two, right? to build max hit points. No, it's zero, actually. I thought it was, uh, I thought it actually gave you some desirability. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna got a door in there. I'm gonna put in four beds and a table with some stools. Doesn't fit perfectly, but it's okay. And a light. Right there. So that if we capture somebody... That's a, that's a problem I've had before, is that I didn't build a... Um, a like, like um, a prison soon enough. And then, you know, I had to build one on the fly, and the people bled to death while they were waiting for their prison cells. <sighs> Intellectuals, so that's what we need Aldra to do. So what we're gonna do, well, he's gonna have nothing to do for now. Yeah, let's build a, a uh, steel horseshoe pin doodle right there. Anybody else on construction? No, just Bob. Just Boondy. Alright, so 
he's putting that shit down. Who else is idle? Magnus and Owen don't have anything to... Magnus, really? You don't have anything to do? If you have literally nothing else to do, go help with the, 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 the numerous construction projects that need, need to be worked on right now. Beds in enclosed spaces. How is this not? Is it? Is it not count as enclosed? Oh, you know what? Right here. I didn't even see that. Um, it's, it's open. Uninstall. Uninstall. Let's uninstall these. We need to. We need to uh, shorten this wall here. Oh, uninstall. There we go. And then we'll 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 make it we we can make it a little bit nicer. We'll take care of it. Don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry, future prisoners. Don't you worry. So we we are out of room to store shit. Uh so that means we're gonna need to expand this. So stockpile zone. Let's bring it out right there. Magnus is cooking copious amounts of rice. And harvesting the rice, too. And replanting. Very nice. Then Boondi's bread. I hate it when they do that, when they just grab one thing of rice, then bring it in and cook. Grab, cook, grab, cook, grab, cook, grab, cook. Just because it's so inefficient. Why did you move stuff out of there over here? This is not, like, preferred. Is it normal? Oh, I deleted this whole zone. Whoops. Stockpile zone. Boom. There we go. Better. See, what are you doing? Yeah, it's, he's gonna do some transporting tonight. Grab all the stuff, and then we can uh, orders, structure, wall. Boom. Then what I'll do is I'll, I'll move, you know, we'll uninstall all of this. And we'll move it all, uh, move the table down. And then we can, we can just make it a little bit nicer. A little bit extra work because I messed up there, but I'm sure somebody saw that, but no big deal. No big deal. A little bit of food, some of it's starting to grow, which is nice. It looks like the, um, the strawberries are coming in. Potatoes, the rice already finished once. Very nice. Very nice. Rice is finite. So, what we can do is... Where's the table? That's the... There's the table. Install the table, say... Down there. We install this stuff over here. Eating without a table, even for prisoners, is upsetting. We'll install this. Just put this in right there. Just put them next to each other. Like bunk beds. That right there. Install right there. And then the... Uh, yes. You know what we'll do is put this one for prisoner medical use. And they're probably pissed off that they have poor... Uh, the, the prisoners would have better conditions than them. So let's finish this up and then we'll deconstruct this center section. Let's make sure we chop down all these trees in here that are in the way. Go, oh, Bob. That was a was a hell of a roofing job there, Bob. And then I'll make sure there's a door on this side as well. And we fill out that little stockpile zone in the center there so they don't waste time moving shit. All right. A little bit better now. A little bit better now. Here, let's have him at least knock off some of these edges here kind of reduce this it this is going to be in my way for what my next project is so we're just going to try to reduce it just a little bit if you don't have anything else to do go mining 
Oh, and I understand you not... You know what? If, uh... Let's see. Simple research bench. We're gonna pop that in right over here. And then we'll build the structure around it. Let's go out to about there. And this can be a production area. Put the door right there. There will be a chair in there. Structure, furniture, dining chair. No, you just get a stool. You'll be- you'll, you're working. You don't need a fancy chair. You get a stool. Aldra's much happier working at night, which is good. We're gonna need to start producing some better weapons, at least a better melee weapon soon, too. Like, poor Aldra's just got a limestone club. How's, like, uh, how's everybody's needs? Yeah, I know it's ugly. We're gonna be working on a... Uh, a set of proper quarters for everybody pretty soon. This is why I wanted to square this off, because I wanted to get it up in, in this area. Having the one big structure like this is nice for um, for keeping your, your compound compact, but it's bad in the case of disaster. AKA, it would be easy for everybody to destroy the hell out of this place. Especially because it's completely made out of wood. We don't have a source of stone yet. Uh, and actually, floors... Let's make sure we throw in some, um, some concrete in here. It doesn't need to be fancy, just needs to be, just needs to work. And we're gonna get some research going. Let's see. Let's do smithing research. And, um, Owen... ...is gonna work on that shit. If he doesn't have anything else to do... Yeah, Owen and Aldra have been the ones who have been, um... ...like, uh, lacking in, in... In duties, eh, duty. Uh, so those are the ones who are going to uh, benefit from this situation the most. And I don't want to build too much. I don't want to lay too much concrete. So we don't have a huge steel supply at the moment. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to tell them to mine this whole thing off. This whole area, just 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 delete it. Just so we, we, you know, it's nice and rounded off there. And then they're gonna, when they finish, after they finish this, we're gonna start laying down some more stuff to do. A little bit of food, which is nice. This stuff is inside now, which means it's not going to deteriorate. Uh, I did forget, I didn't notice that when, when I did it, but I have the, uh, the cooler pumping all the hot air directly into this area, which isn't bad, per se. It just means that people coming in here are going to be uncomfortable. Alright. So they're coming at me right now. Got a spear. And a club. Okay. No big deal. Let's say... Boondy, you go there. Magnus... Go here, and let's send Aldra up there as backup. Well, that's a whole lot of alpaca. Oh, I thought they were coming right... Oh, are they not coming right now? Are they preparing first? Oh, that means we got more time to move. So, Magnus over here. Uh, well, we just put them back to back. Boondi and Aldra. Can I actually hit him from there? This animal actually set to... Okay, none. Because that animal is just hanging around too close. Come on, you bitch! Magnus, you got us! Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, we got two. Three. Oh, wow. Magnus just made you look like a fool. Like a fool! 
And actually, Owen's got a new weapon. Probably a shitty spear. A poor spear. That's gonna be Aldra's new, uh, new weapon. Not Aldra, Owen's new weapon. It's gonna be better than a club. He's gonna be pretty good with it, too. He likes to stab things. Stab stabby. Alright, at least, you know, these people who were sitting around doing nothing before, at least have tasks. Which is good. Oh, I forgot. To put in a door. Oh, I don't have a... I completely forgot about that. I don't have automatic, automatic doors researched yet. Why did I think I did? I have no idea. Gonna knock this whole thing off. Oh, they're done. Oh, some of them are done. Okay. Yeah, some of them are pretty close. I like how an entire meal is basically jam. I guess if the people like it. Why'd he chop down that tree? Was that set to... I don't think that one was set to chop. I'll go eat the monkey. There's no point in letting it go to waste. It's some delicious monkey meat. And some high-quality monkey leather. Look, we got like three meals out of that monkey. Nice. Alright. Take that out. And then you got one more square to put in, and you're done. Okay. Like he, he, he hit this rock twice, and then it was like, Okay, I've had enough for the day. We'll call it a day here, It will be, and, and it'll, everything will be behind. Prisoners got... I really feel like hardwood floors should should be worth, you know, something, you know, you know, you always want hardwood floors in your house. They're beautiful. The tile's very nice, I agree, but hardwood floor is great. As long as it's real hardwood floor and not that shit laminate. The last apartment I went into, I, I moved into, uh, they had it, they had it advertised that they had, that the, the floors were made out of hardwood. Then I walked in, you know, I started moving in there and noticed noticed that they, the floor had a little bit of give under your foot when you when you walked on it. It was just like like foam core with like linoleum on it that had, was you know printed to look like, um, look, look to look like hardwood. It was just it was fucking faux hardwood. It was shit stuff. I grew up living in very old houses, so I kind of like that stuff. I like I like. Very old, old buildings. Cobblestone or brick or hardwood. All that stuff's good. Friendly AI from your past named Charlton Whitestone has sent you a message. It reveals that he had, uh, he has a starship hidden on this planet and send you its world coordinates. If you travel to the ship, Charles will take you off this, uh, room world to the stars. So there it is. It's the purple flag. What is this? Click to enter the planning mode where you can plan your journey and calculate distance between waypoints. So here, I'm, I don't even remember where I am on this planet and, oh, I think that's me right there. Yeah, that's me. Oh, so that's one waypoint. And the other one was way over here, so that's where we need to get. Opposite side of the planet. And that's the route we have to take. Oh, the, it's like across, you know, like, frozen you know, tundra for most of the most of the trip. And it's, it's on a road for very, very brief periods of time. 122 days. Woo! Alright, so that's how far we gotta go. We need a hundred. We need it to travel for a hundred and twenty-two days if we go on foot. All right, nice. And the cat's back. Hey, don't knock over my microphone, please. About the hay grass, good. 
Hey, the cotton plant looks different now. I think there's a little more variation. It seems like the trees, there's a little bit more variation to as well. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, just knock all this crap off. Oh, shiza. Local monkey has gone mad. Uh, okay. It's coming for you guys. Uh, Boondi and Magnus. Get into firing position for the monkey. Here he comes! Fire! Fire! Melee attack. The monkey's tearing Magnus to pieces. Kill it! Uh, bruised monkey right fist, and thankfully he didn't get shot. I've, I've lost many a character to self-inflicted wounds. Not, well... You know, inflicted by other colonists because I had them set up kind of poorly. Ooh, you know what I also need to set up? Is a proper medical ward. Ooh, skate pod! Jump to location. Uh, Drew Bear. Hmm. He's okay. Not bad. Alder, go get him. Shiza. Uh... I don't want to throw them in jail, and we don't have any free beds, so structure, furniture, bed. Let's get another bed built. And Boondi, work on that right now. I need to build you a bed before I can rescue you. Oh, you failed! Boondi! You've done this before! You know what you're doing! Haha! -ha! Aldra, go get him! Rescue Drew Bear. I could use him. And Owen, before I forget. Oh, one of our coolers broke down. Should grab that spear. Okay. He's all patched up. Definitely need some nice quarters now. This could actually be either a spare barracks or the med bay once we have a... Uh... Oh, who's sad wandering? Magnus. Uh, once we have a proper, uh, some proper bedroom set up. Magnus, you're not sad. Why are you so sad? Is it because you're hurt? Probably because he's hurt. Urgently hungry. Well, that's your fault. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Your bear is no longer capable of walking. Are you just going to wander off? Slowly? Alright, he's just going to slowly wander. I made that bed just for you. And it was a shoddy... Okay, it was shoddy. It wasn't that nice. Well, this is going to take longer than I want it to. So I might need to... Uh... And then you have Mr. Boondy here focus more on construction of some, you know, let's have, yeah, let's actually look into doing that structure, because that'll make everybody happier. Oh, I hate building everything out of wood, though. <clears throat> Do we have much of this? We have a little bit of marble blocks. That's something. Not going to be able to get very far with it, though. At five. So let's leave one, two, three, four. Let's leave five spaces open here, and then we're going to need this needs to be seven by seven, so the six more, and then close that off. And that's a five by five. And then we're going to leave three spaces, and we'll do another seven by seven. We'll just do two for now, and we should be able to finish that. And then we're going to put wooden doors on the insides. This is how I do bedrooms, is, uh, five by five. I think that's plenty of space. Cat is sitting on my... My dude, on my, uh, my phone and my mousepad right now. 
A nearby settlement, Dancer, Dancer's Rivers, contacted you with a special trade request. They would like to purchase 700 corn. In return, they offer 1,700 silver. The request expires in 12 days. If you want to make the trade, send a caravan with the requested supplies. You can review this offer by selecting Dancing Dancer's River on the world map. That is new. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to produce that. Although, how much corn does do actually I might be able to? Does one of these produce? Let's see. Light requirement. I thought the corn produced like 75 per thing. Well, let's see. How many do we have? We have 6 by 6 is 36. So that's 72 plants we have. And they want 700 corn. We might be able to do that. So, I got my calculator out here. If these plant each, each each of these produce at least ten corn, we would have enough. Uh, okay, so let's go three and a half days. Most of it along a road. So that we, we, we need to send a caravan with... S we don't have any pack animals, though, and that's a lot of weight. We'd have to try to train up an elephant, and we need to get there in 12 days. I don't think we have the, we have the infrastructure set up to do something like that right now. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to manage that. Animal starvation. Why are you starving? Go. There's plenty of food for you to eat. Uh, I mean, you have access to get in here, so it's that's up to you to make sure you get some food or to go attack a monkey or something. Getting that much food there, I think, would be the issue. Without any pack animals already set up, and I have to be there in 12 days, and it takes three and a half to get there, so that's eight and a half days. I have eight and a half days to get set up, and I don't think that's going to happen. Or hold out. Magnus, extreme break risk. Um. Well, why don't you go get yourself something to eat? Nom 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 nom. There you go. We're gonna make some kibble soon too. I think I'm gonna wait till this is done though before I make any kibble. Cat's giving me the stink eye because she thinks it's time to eat right now. It's not. It is. Well, almost. 45 minutes and it's time to, for them to eat. I really, really hope that all the heal root comes through. G getting your first crop of heal root up is just super important. Why are you all the way wandering out there? Or maybe we should bond you to uh, back to somebody. Animals... Uh, bond to Boondi. Uh, refugees chased at... Okay, so deep space miner. Yes, offer safety. Oh, and they are right fucking there. Okay, so Boondi. Uh, Magnus. Owen. And Aldra. Shiro. Uh, ooh, you could shoot, but you don't have. we don't have a weapon for you, so go equip that club. What do we got? Oh, sh that's Shiza. That is a machine gun and an Uzi, a bolt action rifle, and a stabber doodle. This is going to get ugly before it gets uh, before it gets pretty. The machine gunner's got to go first. Oh, that was a really good shot. Left leg, left tibia. It's going to slow him down, too. 
Oh, boondies, boondies hit. Uh, health, let's see here. Pistol shot. Alright, so we need to melee attack. Melee attack. Fire. Fire. Shiro, you are where? We need to close the distance with this, with the guy with the machine gun. This guy is not paying the slightest bit of attention to me sh stabbing him. Oh yes, they're fleeing. Alright, shoot that fucker. Shoot that fucker. Yes! Feel better. Alright. That's a steel knife, a machine gun, and we got an Uzi out of it too. Sweet! Shiro, uh, you could go put some clothes on if you really want to. You don't have to get to work this second. Uh, let's see, character, you like to shoot, so you're gonna go equip that fucking gun. Bolt action, uh, steel knife, and the pistol. I think we'll just keep the pistol rather than... The machine pistol will go into the bank. Uh, Magnus is treating everybody's injuries. Very nice. We got Shiro out of that, which is very nice. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, 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 I'm digging Shiro already. So let's see. Assign. I know we're over on time, but I'm enjoying myself and I want to do this. Um, restrict. Shiro, we're going to copy and paste. Shiro work... Let's see, make sure you are set to take care of yourself, if need be. And Flick is up there, too. You can warden, but you don't really like to. You can handle, but you don't really like to. Uh, hunt, very nice. Make sure we're set to hunting and constructing. Very good. And mining. Woo, very nice, very nice. Shiro is going to be an excellent addition to the team. But with that, we are going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you have been enjoying the series. And I'll see all of you next time.